ho, ho, Merry Christmas. Would you like to come sit on Santa's lap? Is that Santa? Yes, it is. Oh, wow, he's kind of scary. No, he's cool, he's cool. Are Watch. you sure? I'll go first. Okay. Hey, Santa, I, I would really like a new AK this year, if you could swing that, please. Let's see what Santa can do. Lots of stuff in here. Oh, there it is. Here you go. Another AR mag. Thanks, Santa. Merry Christmas. What would you like, little man? Santa, can I have one of those AKs for Christmas? Let's see what I can do, little man. Wow, my very own AK. Best Christmas ever. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. At least he didn't want a video game. Welcome back everybody to Ready, Aim, Live. I'm Jose. And I'm Wes. And today we wanted to give a little bit of a continuation of a video that we did a couple weeks ago. But we wanted to branch out and try some other products that we actually thought would help us in this little experiment. Yeah, man. So pretty much we went to our local Walmart and we all split up. We said, listen, our mission right now is to find something that's going to give the idea that we really want and find it and apply it. So we started off, as you've seen in the previous video, we had the truck fed coating. So we had used it on a regular polymer mag. We have this finish on there. We weren't really, it's not that great. You know, it, we don't like it that much. This isn't what we were expecting. Yeah. So then we got some kitty litter <laughs> and we've actually put the kitty litter on the mag, adding the truck bed cover and it gives you that more of a textured feel. It, uh, it does work. It does have that grippiness to it. I mean, what do you think on that one? I mean, honestly, it was such a great idea and it was an inspiration for what we blossomed ourselves into trying to create. But as an all around feel, I mean, it's still a great feel. It's still mm -hmm. a great idea. But what we're going into next was an innovation that we weren't sure was even going to work. Mm -hmm. But once we got it done, it's, you know, feeling this, and feeling that, it's night and day difference. So. Night and day. So yeah, so we found this stuff, Gorilla Glue, or Gro Gorilla, makes it called Tread Tape. And it's pretty much a really thick sandpaper, or a grip tape for a skateboard, it feels like. Plenty of uses, but we said, hey, let's take those uses, and put it on a mag. So then, we come out with this, and this right here. I'm, we're, we're happy with this. This is what we were expecting. Comparing these two together, side by side, next to these, this is the texture that we wanted. This is nice rough, but we like that grippiness. And we went ahead and we did it with the AK mag. As you could definitely see the difference on those two. Yeah, and the thing is, is like even with the truck bed liner, we did like the way that it made the AK mag feel, but this is, a totally different level. This is what this we were is, going for. This is what we wanted to begin with. Like, this is good, this is gonna get you by, but this is what we were striving for. This is what we were wanting to do from the very beginning, textural-wise. Yeah, just having that extra grip. If you're out there, you're operating, you gotta drop a mag, or you gotta throw a mag to a buddy, having that grippiness to it, you're gonna catch it, it's gonna be quick. That's something that we like, we're into. I like using talon grips on my gun, and this is like, you know, another way of talon grips. Now we got talon mags. I'm not taking their brand or nothing, but I'm just saying, having that extra grip can do so much in the field. It's unbelievable, especially if you train with it and you're very used to it. Well, and the really cool part is that once we got into the shop and started, you know, putting the tape on and really conforming it to the actual mag, we took a, a butane blowtorch and we started really molding it down to the actual frame of the mag and really getting the feel for the mag and really understanding that this is going to stick and hold on a lot longer than anything else that we had even tried to use to begin with. And being in Walmart, it was kind of funny that we were looking at the sandpaper and that's where the idea started. It was like, what can we put on this to give it the better texture that we wanted from the very beginning? And we just so happened to stumble upon this. Somebody in the comment section had mentioned a tape before. Goon tape. 
George was it George Washington? George shout, shout out, out to, to George, George Washington. Washington. He's been us with us since day one. George, if you're watching this, we love you. And he said he uses goon tape. Well, we found tread tape. So George, what do you think about the tread tape? Let us know. Well, and we think that it looks great. I mean, these are just the first two that we've done for one AK and one AR mag. So honestly, the sky's the limit. It's not something that you have to actually, you know, completely take the mag apart like we did with the, you know, the truck bed line or spray. So it's something that's a lot quicker to use. It's going to last you a lot longer and get a lot more mags out. I think with the truck bed liner, we probably got about what three mags out of it. Yeah. And that was one full can. This tape right here, we've already done two mags and we still have just about a whole roll left in there. About so. half a roll for sure. And this is something that honestly, like after seeing it on the magazines, dude, I would love to go get one of my, my shotguns that have a polymer stock and stuff like yeah. that in the polymer handle and just wrap a little bit around the handle on there or just different parts of my shotgun or any other weapon really. And just to customize it, just with this little bit of grippiness, I mean, you can cut this thing in the slits. If you just want stripes, you can do that, man. I mean, the sky's the limit, like you said. There's so much customization out there. You just gotta open your minds. And like I said, we went to our local Walmart. We said, hey guys, we're gonna split up. We have a mission, let's do it. And we found something great. And we're so happy that we we're actually able to find a better product. You know, not saying that this isn't a good solution for the AK mags, but this is a much better solution. And we're so happy that we're actually able to find it and bring it to you guys, give you guys a little bit of an update on what we're working through. We didn't just do a couple mags and you know throw the idea to the wind. We're actually trying to mm -hmm. innovate and figure out better ways that we can make our equipment work better for us and potentially you know show it to you guys of how we actually want our you know equipment to work. It's all DIY, right? Do it yourself. And um, this is something that's cheap, affordable. Something that if you're bored, you're at your local Walmart giving groceries, it's like, hey, I seen those guys on YouTube talking about that tread tape. Let me try it. And there you go. Like you said, you open this whole new world, man. Well, we do recommend that if you are gonna try it, maybe start with a one of your less uh, useful mags <laughs> and practice with it. Because even now, these are some of the lesser mags that we have, and we, you know, we're practicing with them. But I would recommend practicing with it a little bit first mm -hmm. and getting, you know, your your groove down of how you're actually going to apply it just so you don't completely destroy your good mag and you know you're out twenty dollars on a good mag oh yeah no i definitely agree on that and uh like i said we use the blowtorch just to help with the adhesive you can even get adhesive spray spray it on as a base layer just to get that extra stickiness and uh recommend highly recommend if you do try this start from the bottom of the mag up we've had better luck doing it that way that's the only best advice i can give if you try this at home well, thank you guys for joining us today. We're really glad we could bring you an updated, you know, version of these mags and show you some of the innovation that we're doing. We really appreciate it. We hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Um, every Friday, we got new videos going out at four o'clock. We got reels going up on Instagram. We got stories on Facebook. Anything else for you? I just think that.